to for this yeah. lesson. Yeah. Um, Brother Pastor, I want you to bring it up for, for where it is found. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm going to elaborate uh, just a little bit on it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, so did you get the question on you? Mm -hmm. You got the question on you. Yeah. The question uh, in reference to the house. The house can be saved by either the husband or the wife that hear it and believe it. Uh, and if the either spouse, the other spouse, has not uh, accepted and confessed, the house can be sanctified from uh, through the one man or woman. Yeah. Okay. And where did you say we find that again? First Corinthians chapter seven. Chapter seven. Okay. Because, yes. for one thing, if you're walking in the divine anointing, which is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. okay, when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you shall receive power, mm -hmm. right? Now, as you walk and your conduct is in Christ, mm -hmm. okay, that is going to win him over, mm -hmm. or that will win her over, mm -hmm. okay? Because, see, if the house is divided, it's going to fall, mm -hmm. and when you have a marriage, okay, but better for worse, death do us part, that type of marriage, which is the right marriage. Mm -hmm. okay? Sooner or later, that husband is going to say, well, listen, I'm going to go to church with you, you just said. Yeah. And that's opposite the wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, the children mm -hmm. is already ordained in the Bible where we have to bring up the child and the way it should go. So you're supposed to be bringing him Amen. or her with you to church. That's anyway. right. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to, absolutely. Amen. Don't send them, come with them. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's right. What's yeah. Cynthia? Is that something like Job? What about Job? When, because Job's um, family was uh, had a hedge of protection on them because of him, and then when that hedge was taken off, they all died. Is that the same thing? Oh, um, you're talking about when? No, uh, you know what? Uh, that was uh, that was yeah, a so relationship different. between God. Satan yeah, and uh, uh, God, God and and Job and God. Mm -hmm. And uh, all they, Job's kids weren't saved, right? Well, I do they know that they were partying the when they uh, they were partying at the older brother's house when they when mm -hmm. they got, when they got mm -hmm. So they were covered by Job, right? Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and so was his wife. But she was she never she had not confessed because if she had, she would not have told her 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 and husband cursed, cursed God. God and died. That's right. That's so right. yeah, because of Job, that's actually good to tie in, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's a marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, what we were that's a great example of the marriage, yeah, the marriage. we're talking about, where the man actually covered his house, but. Uh, as you said, the heads were taken, were taken off, but that was an arrangement that took place mm -hmm. between God and God Satan. And Satan. Because he did, uh, Satan did challenge the Lord mm -hmm. that if you took all this stuff from him, I guarantee you that he will curse you. And that, and, and he said, not him. You can, you know, you can do what you want. I, he's not going to do it. Plus, you can't have a soul. I ain't worried about that. I got his soul. So... I pray that God doesn't make an example of me like that. Yeah, you may, Lord. <laughs> to the flesh fell okay. from his bones. Ooh, Ooh, Job Lord. went through it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. But sometimes we feel like we have Job experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just back to back to back stuff going on. You know, and uh, all I know is I've learned that what doesn't, what doesn't kill you does make you strong. That's right. And I just wanted to say a lot of people uh, uh, are always in debate about uh, women speaking in the church and what thus says Paul and what thus says the Lord and what does, you know, and it's a big uh, uh, debate always continually going on. I just want to say one thing. If you really want to study uh, uh, what Paul was actually doing in Corinth, you need to know about the city of Corinth. Uh, Corinth was a very corrupt city at the time. Uh, the men were coming and going because it was, was a very big port where the ships would come in and go out. Uh, foreigner men would come in and go out. Now the church was full of women, just like it is today. Uh, but there was a combination of uh, Roman rule as well as uh, some Jewish laws and now we had this new Christianity coming. Mm -hmm. So people had been worshiping Venus, mm -hmm. Mars, Mars, Zeus, Zeus snakes, kind of snails, yeah. and puppy dog tails, yeah. everything. 
and there was a god of prostitution. Idolatry. And uh, yes, they were practicing these things. And now, when the, ch uh, the Christian church was set up, Paul was there and he set it up properly. Mm -hmm. uh, but after a while, when the men would step back from some of the duties and the women took over, these men coming in from these ports, being out on the sea but for uh, sometimes as much as a year, mm -hmm. they wanted to have sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the women that were in charge, pastors, women that were pastoring, this, was, this is one of the reasons why it happened. Mm -hmm. um, they were practicing the religion where uh, you come into the church and one of their uh, rituals was to have sex. Mm -hmm. And so when Paul found that that had infiltrated the newly uh, established Christian church in Corinth, uh, the way that he decided it could be handled was to have the women just sit down mm -hmm. and let the men that were there take control. Now that's in Corinth. Yeah. That was not going on in every other place. Yeah. And the example I give you is San Francisco right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. The ports of San Francisco are coming and going and coming and going with all kinds of people, with uh, all kinds of religion their practices mm -hmm. and has infiltrated the city itself and the practices that go on you can see it visually you don't have to go in a building it's out okay. in the open yeah. so if you wanted to compare it to something you could compare it to that and at some time just like in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah mm -hmm. and just like um, uh, the, uh, the priest and his concubine that we read in yeah. Judges 19 yeah. Eventually, uh, what happens becomes corrupt when um, they want to have one another mm -hmm. and all the things that snowball from that. Yeah. So I think Paul did one thing that was very good, but if the women were to become silent in the church, there would be no, no teaching, church. there would be no preachers because nobody would be there to support them because that's who's been supporting the churches. And uh, I don't think that Christianity would have survived as long as it has. So thank God for the women that have contributed uh, to the church's growth. And uh, Paul made sure that that was something that was recognized as well when he asked the people to uh, acknowledge Priscilla and others that helped them along the way. We better get back to our I, lesson because it's almost time. I think about how great Ruth and Esther were. Yes. The greatest women in the Bible. Yes. Great. Love the Lord. And by example, she pulled her daughter-in-law into her religion. Amen. Amen.